Welcome back. You know, she mesmerized audiences and celebrity judges on season 22 of NBC's The Voice with her unique and raspy tone. And after leaving the competition as a semifinalist, powerhouse singer Kim Cruz is joining us now to reflect on this incredible experience and her rising music career. Kim, Kim welcome to Houston Life. It's nice to see you in person. In person. No. <laughs> Usually we'd be FaceTiming while you were there on the set at NBC. Yeah. We were chatting during the break. Tell our viewers how it feels to be back home. It feels really, really great to be back home around family and all the food that I missed <laughs> while being in uh, L.A. It feels really good. And I came home to such a influx of support and just love and so yeah it feels really good that is so awesome kim i you know my my family my mom was in town during uh season 22 of the boys and she was just enamored with your <laughs> voice like many of us were but did you you could feel the support you you could feel and you, and you were getting messages i mean are from across the country yeah yeah, the the support was definitely felt and needed because, like, I think I don't think a lot of people understand the downside is that, you know, sometimes just as many lovers of our voices we have, we also have some that don't. So, um, to see the love and the support from my family and friends and hometown hometown supporters, people that I've never met before, it meant the world to me and it really kept that fire going underneath me to just keep going throughout the competition. Anyone who's ever participated in any kind of competition or sport, you always want to win, right? You always think that winning is the best case scenario. You learned so much from this experience. Your talent is unmatched. In fact, your coach, John Legend, uh, said after your performance of All By Myself, you are truly one of the best singers he's ever been around in his life. That's a quote directly from him. <laughs> what are you taking away from these huge compliments and also just the, the whole experience? From this whole experience, I'm definitely taking away the confidence that I had there I bring. I brought that back home with me. I've always loved music, always been an artist, but I've never been that present on stage. So I'm definitely taking that confidence and bringing it back here with me, as well as everything that the coaches told me and said to me, and everything that John told me in our rehearsals. He gave me really good pointers in just really like John saw so much potential in me that I kind of felt was there, but I was scared to like tap into it. So now it's just like a new level has been unlocked. <laughs> it is so cool to see, and it's been amazing to see and watch your progression. Uh, diving a little bit deeper what you're talking about because every coach turned around for you. Every coach was in awe of you on The Voice. And <laughs> so many of them said the same thing about your stage pre presence, your voice. But you said something to AJ, my son, in the green room, that the walking around, the video that we're seeing of you, that wasn't something that you were doing. This is something new that you found in yourself during The Voice. Yes, before The Voice, I would either stand up and hold onto a microphone stand for dear life, or I would sit in a stool and I would sing an entire set like that. I was so terrified to move around, but I knew like going into this, show I had to push myself out of my comfort zone and I'm shocked just to see the way that I was moving across the stage. Oh, you owned <laughs> you that owned stage, it. Kim. Very there's, comfortable. There's no doubt. You're a star. Listen, we could chat with you all day. We got to let you uh, perform now. So we're going to get you ready for that. We do want to tell our viewers, though, new music, a new album, new single is coming. So stay tuned. Kim Cruz, we want to remind you her self-titled EP is available on streaming platforms so you can enjoy her voice anytime you'd like. And now without further ado, here is Kim Cruz accompanied by Glenn Alexander III, uh, the second rather, on the keyboard with a rendition of the Christmas classic Silent Night. Take it away. Child, holy infant, 
Absolutely beautiful. Glenn Alexander, thank you so much. And Kim Cruz, okay. Can you let us know on your big announcement? What's yes. happening? So February 11th, I will be a part of the NFL Super Bowl weekend. So Woo! stay on the look out for that. Yes. Okay, that's a great tease. Kim Cruz, congrats. Glenn, thank, thank, you. thank you so much. It's great thank to you. see you both. Happy holidays.